We need to make a selection of this person. For that, I am selecting the entire background, and invert that selection using, Ctrl or Command Shift I. Add a mask to that layer, and apply layer mask by right clicking on the mask icon. Now create a solid color layer with color as black. And bring the newly created solid layer to the bottom. Rename the person's layer to subject. Download and open the lava image file, from the link provided in the description. Select the move tool, and drag the image to our initial window. Convert the lava layer to a smart object. Now transform the layer with Ctrl or Command T, and adjust the layer, so that the lava fire portion is on the face area. Now create an inverted layer mask, by holding Alt or Option key, and by clicking the layer mask button. Rename the layer to Fire and Ash. Click on the subject layer, and create a layer mask. After that, position the subject layer to the top. Now select the brush tool, and select a particle brush. Link for downloading this brush is provided in the description. Open the brush panel, and under brush tip shapes, change spacing to 24%. Then select shape dynamics, and change angle jitter to 100%. Go back to brush tip shape, and change the size of the brush to an appropriate value. Make sure the foreground is set to black. Then choose the subject layers mask and brush on the person's face and body to give a burned and blackened effect. Select the fire and ash layers mask, and change foreground color to white. Now the lava layer will appear on the blackened portions in the background region. This will take some time, so I am speeding up the video. Repeat blackening the subject layer mask, and whitening fire layer till you feel satisfied. Now select subject layer, and open blending options. Add drop shadow with 100% opacity, and distance and size is 0 pixel. Create a curves adjustment layer, and bring that below the subject layer. Adjust the curve to make a perfect glow. Again select the masks of subject and fire layers, and brush with foreground color switching between black and white. This will also take some time, so I am speeding up the video. Now create a new layer and select a soft edged brush and add a shadow effect on the other side change foreground color to dark orange say 720202 and reduce the brush size after selecting subject layer select the black region inside the eye with quick selection tool Brush orange color on the iris region. Now the image is ready.